allies in a new speech today as fears grow that the war in Ukraine could lead to a potential nuclear conflict. The Russian leader delivered remarks at a conference of international policy experts. He accused the West of playing a, quote, dangerous and bloody game and seeking global domination. The West in recent years, and especially in recent months, has taken a number of steps to escalate. Well, as a matter of fact, they always play for escalation. There is nothing new here. This is the incitement of war in Ukraine. These are provocations around Taiwan, the destabilization of the global food and energy markets. Putin also repeated his unfounded claim that Ukraine plans to detonate a radioactive dirty bomb. This just one day after Russia and NATO held pre-planned nuclear drills. Joining us more now, ABC News foreign correspondent Tom Sufi Burge, live in Kiev, Ukraine. Also, ABC News contributor and former State Department official Steve Ganyer. Good to see you both. Tom, let me start with you. Putin also denied any intention of using nuclear weapons in Ukraine. What else did he say in that speech? Well, Kenneth, I think the most interesting thing about this speech, I mean, in some sense, it was typical of Vladimir Putin, a lot of mixed messages, a lot of finger pointing towards the West for his invasion of Ukraine. But I think really the overall point here is that what we're seeing from the Kremlin and from Vladimir Putin in this speech is a move away from a lot of the quite ridiculous rhetoric in the early stages of this war, trying to claim that this was a war fighting fascism and Nazism in Ukraine, which we know is not true, more towards trying to reframe the war here in Ukraine as an existential fight for Russia, a battle between the US and its allies and Russia, with Ukraine being the battleground. And Steve, we know that when it comes to Putin and the West, he's had a long history of talking bad about the West uh, and been blasting the West since way before he invaded Ukraine. What stood out to you from the speech today? Yeah, Kenneth, um, I, I think as Tom, Tom noted, this is, uh, this is rhetoric we've heard before. Uh, we've actually heard it for a couple hundred years, this sense of aggrievement that it's always the West that's causing problems within Russia. So these are messages that are proven, have played well uh, out over time. Uh, but the thing that was at least a little bit encouraging today is that he didn't take an ad any additional steps to be more threatening than he had uh, up to this point. So uh, some of the rhetoric was the exact rhetoric we'd heard about this, this uh, canard of a, uh, of a dirty bomb being being assembled by the Ukrainians, uh, but nothing there that stood out where you'd say, wow, he's ramping up the pressure uh, and we need to be even more concerned than we are at, uh, even days ago. And with so many adversaries, Steve, uh, a man like that is likely looking for friends. Uh, we heard Putin mention Taiwan in that clip earlier. Is mm -hmm. he trying to ally himself with China against the West? Yeah, remember that Xi Jinping is one of his only friends. Now, China has not been uh, uh, openly supportive, other than to say that we don't, uh, we aren't going to censure Russia. But China is buying Russian oil at a 20% discount. They're buying lots of uh, extractive goods, iron ore, things like that, uh, grain from Russia. So China's happy to go along and pretend that they're a friend. But given that their their role in the world is the second largest economy, uh, it's the kind of friend that Mr. Putin needs at this point. So it's very interesting that it's the West against Russia, but that's the same language we're hearing out of Xi Jinping, that it's the West against China. And so Putin was throwing a bone there to Xi Jinping saying, yeah, it's the same thing that they're doing to China with regards to Taiwan. And Tom, the U.S. and its allies are rejecting Putin's unfounded accusation that Ukraine is planning to detonate a so-called dirty nuclear bomb. Uh, now Ukraine is warning of a potential Russian false flag attack at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. What more are you learning about that? Well, senior Ukrainian officials within the last 24 hours have repeated those claims. I mean, look, there is nothing to substantiate that apart from the fact that Russia controls the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Therefore, it controls the radioactive toxic waste there. And really, the rhetoric coming from Russia over the last few days is worrying. And it's worrying because Russia has form on this. We know in the past, over a matter of years here in Ukraine, Russia has done these false flag operations where they've said that something's about to happen, they've accused Ukraine of it, and then they've carried out the action themselves. 
But the massive caveat to this is it's very, very hard to second guess Russian disinformation. There's so many mixed messages coming out of the Kremlin right now. Very worrying rhetoric, escalation rhetoric, but whether or not Russia will carry out this type of dirty bomb tactic is very, very hard to prejudge. But, you know, the West, the US is not taking any chances on this. US officials saying they are warning Russia that if it does carry out this type of attack, there will be consequences. Well, mixed messages and uh, escalating rhetoric. That is not something you want to see when you are dealing with nuclear powers. All right, Tom, Steve, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kenneth. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.